Today, I'm going to show you how to get the moody look in DaVinci Resolve with your footage. First, add another node, go up here to Color Space Transform, and drag it on. First, you're going to put in your camera's color space to convert your footage to Rec. 709. Then for the output, you put 709 for the color space, and for the gamma, gamma 2.4. I'll name that 709. Now here, what you're going to want to do is first edit the exposure. There's multiple ways you can do this. I have other videos that I'll link to here if you want to go check it out. But for now, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to expose it here. First I'm going to go to the offset and bring this down quite a bit till I darken this shot to where I'm happy with it. Let's see. Right there. That's looking good. I'm going to add another node. Label this contrast. There's a few ways you can do this too. I have other videos on but for now I'm just going to use curves to get the highlights and the shadows of this image. I'm going to bring down the shadows. Bring up the highlights a bit and then I'm going to raise this up and I'm going to do this. Bring that down probably to about there. And I'll bring this down to just to kind of create a nice little curve for this. Now I have a nice contrast curve. After this, I'm going to go to my printer lights and I'm going to bring down my cyans, bring down my reds to give it more cyan, bring up the greens and bring up the blues that I will label PL. Go back to my contrast just to give it a little more oomph. There we go. Now, after this, I'm going going to add a vignette, V-I-G for vignette. Going to add a circular vignette, put this at 70, put this at 7, maybe bring it up a little higher just till it gets to the edges. I'll invert that, then bring this down. Now you can see I've already made like a really cool dark and contrasty moody look, but to enhance this even further, I'm going to go to outer banking, put at 2.35, and bam. Look at how good that looks, and it only took us a a few minutes to get here and this isn't even the end look you can even push this even further how you can do this is let's say I want this to be a little desaturated because right now I think it's too saturated so I'll go here three five BAM now we got an even colder bleak look or you can even just saturate this up maybe 70 so you give it like a more earthy kind of green. I'll just keep this at 50 right now because I think it looks good. The last thing we're gonna do is I'm going to add a glow node. Now you don't have to do this for every grade. Right now, this looks amazing. I'm just gonna see how it looks though. So I'm going to put it on soft light, bring down the shine threshold, bring down that. Then I'm going to adjust the gain so I get this to around the ballpark that I want. Maybe 0.39, 0 0.4. Then I'll put this at 0.5 because I thought that looked Looked pretty good. Then I will adjust the blend so that it's not too over the top. Put that at 0.7 and I'll name this glow. Now right now this looks like a great like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows look. Like this applies to a lot of movies and this is basically how they grade it because it doesn't look this bleak in real life. If you go back to what it looked like before you can see it just looked like a normal mountain on a cloudy day. But when we add this grade to it it creates this bleak dark kind of like moon moody, very moody look, and it looks amazing. Now, if you want, let's say you want this to be printed on film. What you can do is you can go to your output gamma and you just scroll down to Cineon Film Log as the output. You can do saturation compression, but I won't do that here, I'll let it clip. Then I will add, if you go down, you can see film looks, Kodak 2383. Now you might be saying, oh my gosh, this is way too much. What have you done? This is terrible. But if you just play around with what you already have like that, you can get a nice moody look and this is what it would look like if it was printed on film and you can change a few settings to make this look better and not as crushed kind of because right now it's like crazy. This is the film stock that they use to print for film. They printed it for Harry Potter, Star Wars, a lot of big blockbuster films. So if you want that look, this is a way you can do it. And I suggest grading it like this way instead of just converting it after everything because it might look a little over the top. But if I go back to here and I put gamma 2.4, now we're back to normal and it looks great. Anyway, that is how to get the moody dark look in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you have fun and go check out my other videos.